just hot. <laughs> <laughs> it cracked me up. I don't know. It was like, hi. <laughs> this is Ryan. Hey. All right. So Todd and I. About... Now I get all flustered. Todd all right. about... da, 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 da. <laughs> so Todd da, da, da. and I. Hey. So uh, Todd and I have had a lot of conversations about dieting, and one of the big things is being all in. And we've noticed that when you're doing things and you, you're you're kind of there, but you're not quite doing everything that you know you should be, you get all of the pain and none of the reward. So. If you know you need to be strict during the week and you have one cheat meal, but you're throwing in, you know, some yogurt here, a soda there, but it, hey, it's only one little slip, I should be fine. You know, Todd kind of found out the hard way that you end up getting almost no results, maybe even going backwards. So I just wanted to bring him in so you can hear firsthand what his experience had been with that and then what happened when he kind of caught some traction and really started seeing the results. So here's Todd. Hey, it's me now. Is it my turn? Yep. Yeah, I mean, so I don't feel like my story is at all unique, but very simply, change change is hard. We know change is hard, change is painful, and there were two aspects to losing weight that we all know about, diet and exercise. Exercise, believe it or not, is actually the easier of the two because it's something that you come in, you do, and when it's done, you feel like you've gotten something out of it, some method of satisfaction. But the problem is, is that only is about 30% of what it really takes to drop weight and to drop body fat and to be healthier overall, both weight and, and fat percentage. But I didn't want to do that. I, I wanted to be able to continue to do the things that I was doing, eat the foods, because I love food. I love pizza. I love ice cream. I love uh, hamburgers. I love pancakes. I love all that stuff. I mean, I love food, and I don't eat it because I'm hungry. I eat it because it tastes good. So really trying to dial that back was so hard because it's easy. It's available. So I wanted to, I basically got into this trap where I would exercise but I really wasn't changing my diet. I was still eating less of the bad stuff, but still eating a lot of the stuff that I, I really shouldn't have been doing. But it was because I didn't want to make the sacrifice. I didn't want to do the work. And that ultimately was the hardest part. And where it changed for me was over the course of several months, I, I started at 295 pounds. I got down to 265 pounds with just an exercise routine and a little bit of a diet change, but I stalled. And I was stalled for three and a half months. Three and a half months of through 265 pounds until finally I said, you know what, enough's enough. I got on a very regimented diet. I brought my calorie intake down to around 2,000 calories, 1,800 calories, and then I got on a roll. All of a sudden, I was at 262, 260, and I got down to about 255, and then I slipped. I have a, I have a love for Sour Patch Kids. Like, I don't usually like a lot of candy, but Sour Patch Kids are like my, they're, they're my kryptonite. I can't be near them with, and I have such a, so I usually have a lot of self-control, but Sour Patch Kids are really hard. And I literally had one small bag of Sour Patch Kids and all of my loss came to an abrupt halt. And in fact, I started to gain again. And it took me about a week to a week and a half to even start to lose weight just from that one single slip up. And so not only did I have to prove to myself that I couldn't eat a lot of the foods that I was eating in the amounts, like I couldn't eat pizza once every week. I couldn't have a, a big, you know, like, a, like pancakes for breakfast or, or sweets or anything like that because it would stall my progression. And so I went on a regimented diet. I really reduced my calorie intake because for me, I'm all or nothing. And so eventually the weight came off and now I've gotten a nice momentum and I went from 265 to 250 pounds within, I'd say about six weeks. Yep. I mean, it just, just melted right off of me. So, you know, there you have it. I just want you to hear it from someone that experienced it. And just, if you have a diet plan, stick with it for at least six weeks, four to six weeks, yep. and make sure it's working. Because if you're half in, half out, you have all the pains of deprivation and dieting with none of the rewards. So if you're gonna go through the pains of not eating things that you wanna eat, you might as well get the results. And I gotta tell you, there was, when I used to, I used to sell cars for a living, and the guys always told me, you know when the best time to sell a car is? Right after you just sold one. Yeah. And it was because you're confident and you're happy and you're upbeat, 
And I gotta tell you that the best time to lose weight is right after you've lost more, some of it already. Because now, when I have friends of mine that are like, hey, you wanna go out to eat, you know, you know, like someplace that I know is really bad, I'm like, no way, I won't even do it because I already know, woman, how much work I've put in, and two, how much I wanna keep going, and it's not even worth it to do it. Nice, there you have it. From the horse's mouth, Todd's mouth, whatever you want to call it. Did you call it. me a horse? No, I would never do that. <laughs> Great job, Todd. Keep Thank it up. You got it, man. Till the next workout. You got it. You're welcome.